Me and Linnea is about to ramp the boat in a small stream here. Very excited to do some pike fishing. This is what I like the most, exploring and hopefully catching some pike. It's gonna be, yeah, as you see, it's a small stream, so close, short casts. And I'm gonna be uh, fishing totally different flies than I have before, which is gonna let me to cast close into the shoreline, fish the flies immediately in another way than, than I've done pike fly fishing before. So it's gonna be exciting to show you and hopefully we'll get some cool strikes near the shorelines or close to the boat. It's gonna be an epic day. Let's go. Linnea is gonna try to get her first pike on a fly. Yeah. And also on top of that. My own tied fly. Look at that beauty. Huh? Not perfect, but a first. <laughs> I liked it. Almost like a bait fish. You didn't have so much blue color, but a bait fish blue green, maybe. Mm. Also a little gray. Looks perfect. Yeah. It's a bit stained in the water, so I think it's gonna be perfect. Yep, nay! <laughs> I had two takes. I was fishing deep, you know. Heavy fly sink six and waited like 10 seconds and still a swirl in the surface. Could have been a good fish. At first, I mean, we just had a few casts, so it felt like just tick. that first little thing. I was not sure if it was a pike, but second time I was no doubt yeah oh yeah same place three takes do you think you'll go again probably last opportunity is over yeah there no I have it Ah, uh, yeah, it's quite a small one. 70 centimeter, maybe? Do you want to Yeah, sure, we can... Oh, it's... it's looks like a very old fish. Oh, it's very wounded. Perfect! Thank you! Very good! Over the course of the last one and a half years, I've been using hard mono leaders and it's been working great. I've been exclusively using 0 0.2, no 1.2, it's thick nylon, just to be sure that it ain't gonna be bitten off. And this one just took over the fly and actually over the leader as well. So it's very chewed here. So I'm gonna cut off a piece and recrimp it here just to be able to have a fresh leader. I feel if you're gonna use nylon instead of wire, need to take care of it so it doesn't get cut off but uh, one two it's um, thick stuff so it's gonna hold for for fishing pike with nice and fresh leader ready to fish Yep. Ooh. That's a better one. That's a better one. Not not maybe, maybe, massive, but maybe 80. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> nice. I just pressed record before the take. <laughs> Big mouth. Yeah. It's a nice one. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's the stream yeah. I guess against it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Under the tree! <laughs> Under the tree! <laughs> yeah. This, uh, this pike is bigger and better condi condition, so it's gonna be fun to show it. Cool eyes these pike have. Really adapted to these dark waters.
glorious release. There it goes. Oh. It's too much current to get the <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so we're not fishing a lake today. <laughs> you, you, you can hold the, the back fin. Mm, yeah, I tried Maybe. to, but it's... Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of that moment, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for capturing it. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. For filming and capturing. That's... How long are you gonna film? Hello? <laughs> I'm doing a robot to wait for okay. some uh, good uh, good speech okay. now. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is a nine weight rod, what I'm fishing with today. And a sink seven to sink five line. About a little bit more than a meter, or one meter and a half feeder. And then this four gram weighted pipe fly. Are you gonna press off the recording now? No. No? <laughs> I feel bad that I just pressed record like one second before the take, but what can you do? Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm editing this, so no. I can cut. Putting these uh, heavy lead weights inside flies is not something I came up with. It is uh, actually from uh, when I stood behind the camera filming uh, Fly Maniacs last year. Niklas Bauer and Jonathan Åström, they were fishing for Hiken River up in northern Sweden. It's possible absolutely to fish these heavy flies. Four grams is, you, you will be surprised, it's not affecting the casting so much. But here it's actually perfect uh, because it's so narrow, so it's more or less just flicking casting and you can almost use this weight in the fly to have it help to swing the fly into tight corners and stuff that it just starts to fish immediately i think it's ideal so try out to put some actual weight in the flies it's a fun way of experimenting with your pipe flies what is this it's so weird is it a pike yeah <laughs> it went <laughs> with the stream first it it doesn't require the net as long as it doesn't get shredded by the engine. There. Fish is loose. I feel it's time for soup. What do you feel? We're gonna have the ultimate autumn meal. We made this morning. Self-picked mushrooms. Some bread. It's gonna be good. But I just have to get her to stop fishing. Oh, it was so loose. Really fat one. Swim back. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't need it. I think I can handle it like this, but... <laughs> oh, imagine if we would have found some more bait fish. That kind of been a lack of that today. But where we find them? There is pike. That was a... Quite scored up little pike. Whoop. Today gave us a really fun day. In the end there it got pretty equal. Then I caught three and I caught four. All were on spin for her, not the first one on fly. That would be so fun when that happens. Uh, but she gave it a good go today, but uh, it didn't work out sadly. The small areas we saw bait fish splashing and we saw on the sonar, there we also found pike, but it was not so so frequent that we got into pike actually it was quite long periods where it was pretty slow during the day so we hope that next time maybe we come back in a week 
that it will be more active but uh, until then we will check out some other places and water so hope we get to do some more videos uh, last time i was making a video with linnea we were rainbow trout fishing so perhaps we would like to see that instead some proper small stream rainbow trout so see you over there